Welcome to Green Thumb Chronicles, Mastering Sustainable Gardening Practices. Are you ready to embark on a green journey? Looking to transform your garden into a sustainable oasis? You've come to the right place. In this series, we will guide you through the fascinating world of sustainable gardening, providing tips, tricks and insights that will help you cultivate a garden that's not only beautiful, but also beneficial to our planet. We recommend you take notes as we go along so you don't miss out on any steps. So grab your gardening tools and let's dive in. Next up, we'll explore the magic of organic gardening. Ever thought about how you can make your gardening habits more eco-friendly? If you're wondering about the possibility of having a garden that not only offers the satisfaction of growing fresh fruits and vegetables, but also contributes to the health of our planet, you're in the right place. Today, we're about to dive into the fascinating world of eco-friendly gardening, unveiling the secrets to transform your everyday garden into a harmonious sanctuary for you and the environment. The cornerstone of our eco-gardening journey is organic gardening, a practice that casts, casts away harmful synthetic fertilizers and pesticides in favor of nature's own solutions. Organic gardening invites us to reconnect with the earth, using resources we either already have at hand or that can be easily acquired. Allow me to elaborate more on organic gardening. It begins by nurturing the soil, which forms bedrock of a thriving garden. This can be achieved with compost, green manure and bone meal. To begin composting, start a pile of organic waste. This waste could range from vegetable peelings, fruit waste, coffee grounds and lawn clippings. In time, this pile will decompose to form a nutrient-dense compost that can be mixed into your garden soil. Next, let's talk about green manure. This technique involves growing a crop solely for the purpose of enhancing the soil's fertility. You can plant legumes, ryegrass or buckwheat, and once they've matured, simply reintroduce them back into the soil by digging them in. Lastly, we need bone meal. Bone meal is a byproduct of slaughtered animals, usually made from crushed bones. It's rich in phosphorus and calcium, two critical elements for plant growth. Just sprinkle it into your garden soil and work it in evenly. By using these organic methods, you're not only nourishing your plants, but also the soil's microorganisms. It's like you're creating a bustling metropolis of tiny organisms working to create a fertile, productive ecosystem. You're not simply gardening, you're cultivating and nurturing a whole living, breathing ecosystem right in your backyard. Water, being an invaluable asset, calls for its careful use, making water-wise landscaping an essential skill that all gardeners should strive to perfect. This intricate process revolves around the principle of using water responsibly while creating stunning landscapes. It means becoming more eco-aware in your gardening habits, and it begins with a thoughtful selection of plants that are native to your region and resistant to drought. The initial step involves in-depth research on the types of plant species that are indigenous to your locality. Identify the ones that have the capacity to flourish even in dry conditions. In doing so, you're not only promoting local biodiversity, but also reducing the amount of water necessary for plant growth. It's also beneficial to reach out to your to your local gardening community or nursery for expert advice. They can provide valuable insights into the best plants for your region, making your selection process easier and more efficient. Your next task involves the strategic arrangement of your selected plants. Group them based on their water requirements. Design distinct zones in your landscape for plants that necessitate high, medium and low amounts of water. This approach ensures that each plant receives the exact amount of moisture it requires, minimizing water wastage. The final stage of water-wise landscaping involves conscientious watering. Watering your plants at the right time of day, typically early morning or late evening when temperatures are relatively cooler, greatly reduces the amount of water lost to evaporation. Moreover, consider the implementation of a drip irrigation system or the use of soaker hoses. Such watering equipment distributes water slowly and directly to the plant roots, promoting more efficient water absorption. In addition to these steps, consider other water conservation techniques such as mulching and rainwater harvesting. The use of mulch helps preserve soil moisture, while rainwater harvesting provides an alternative water source that can be used to water your plants. Remember, every drop counts. By practicing water-wise landscaping, you're not just creating a beautiful garden, but also contributing to water conservation efforts. So let's make every drop and every plant. Next, we delve deeper into the fascinating process of composting. 
a remarkable journey that transforms your everyday kitchen scraps into a nutrient-dense addition for your garden. This ingenious method is not just an effective way to reduce waste, but it also works wonders in augmenting the fertility of your garden's soil. Here's a concise guide on how to make compost at home. Step 1. Begin by gathering organic waste from your kitchen. This includes vegetable and fruit scraps, coffee grounds and eggshells, collectively known as greens. These nitrogen-rich materials are vital for the composting process. Step 2. Along with greens, your compost requires browns, carbon-filled materials like fallen leaves, small branches and even cardboard. Balancing greens and browns is critical as it creates the perfect environment for microorganisms to thrive and decompose the materials. Step 3. Steer clear of adding meat, dairy or diseased plants to your compost heap. These can attract pests, generate unpleasant odors, and potentially add harmful pathogens to your compost. Step 4. Once you've amassed a good mix of green and brown materials, it's time to construct your compost pile. You can also use a compost bin for this purpose. Layer the materials, starting with browns at the bottom and greens in the middle, then another layer of browns. Continue this pattern until your bin or pile is filled. Step 5. Every couple of weeks, turn the compost with a shovel or a pitchfork. This introduces oxygen, which aids in the composting process and speeds up decomposition. Step 6. Now watch the magic unfold. Over time, your organic waste will decompose into a dark, crumbly substance with a delightful earthy scent. This is your compost, often referred to as black gold. This transformative journey from your kitchen to garden is not just environmentally friendly but also a great way to enrich your soil naturally. Pests can often turn into a significant issue, but using chemical pesticides might harm beneficial insects, disrupting the ecosystem. However, eco-friendly alternatives are available. A great solution is the introduction of beneficial insects to your garden. This process is straightforward. First, identify the specific pests causing problems in your garden. Next, find out which insects are these pests' natural predators. Then purchase these beneficial insects from a trusted source and introduce them to your garden. Over time, they will help control the pest population. Another eco-friendly solution is homemade sprays. This method is not only simple, but also effective. Begin by finding out the ingredients that repel your specific pests. It could be garlic, chili, or some essential oils. Then, mix these ingredients with water and a bit of dish soap to make a natural pest deterrent. Planting certain plants can also be a good method of pest control. Some plants naturally repel specific pests, so planting them next to your important crops can deter pests. To do this, recognize the pests in your garden, then research what plants repel these pests. Plant them strategically around your garden to enhance its biodiversity. In conclusion, these eco-friendly solutions offer an effective, sustainable and harmless approach to pest control. By bringing in beneficial insects using homemade sprays or planting companion plants, we not only rid our gardens of pests, but do so in a way that doesn't harm the ecosystem. Establishing a thriving habitat for pollinators and beneficial insects is another crucial part of the process. Choosing diverse plants that bloom at different times of the year ensures a steady food source for insects. Sunflowers, lavender and foxglove are great choices as they attract bees and butterflies. Prepare the soil by adding organic compost and removing weeds. Plant your chosen flowers, considering sunlight needs and spacing. In addition to flowers, other food sources are essential. A dish of water with small stones can be a watering spot for insects. An insect hotel, featuring small holes and natural materials, can make your garden more appealing. Refrain from using pesticides, as they can harm the pollinators and insects. Instead, these beneficial insects can control the pest population. By following these steps, you're not only beautifying your garden, but also contributing to a balanced ecosystem where pollinators can flourish, leading to a healthy and productive garden. Lastly, let's delve a bit deeper into solar-powered garden tools. Solar lighting, for instance, is a rather efficient way to utilize the sun's energy. You can begin by setting up solar panel lights that absorb sunlight during the day and illuminate your garden at night. A noteworthy point is to position them in a sunny spot for sufficient charging. In the same vein, water features employ a solar panel to soak in sunlight and convert it into energy to power the pump. It's essential to have the panel face south for maximum sunlight. 
These features not only decrease your reliance on non-renewable energy, but beautify your garden as well. So, this is a concise guide to sustainable gardening, focusing on solar power. As demonstrated, it's about making simple, mindful changes and knowing how to use these solar-powered tools correctly. So why not take a step today? Revamp your garden, lower your carbon footprint, and aid in creating a healthier planet. After all, every green thumb can become a green warrior. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks, especially those on harnessing solar power in your garden, and leave a comment to join the conversation. Until next time, happy gardening and keep it green!